Live, Joe, Kathy, on our way to my brother's house here this Tuesday evening, two for Tuesday for everybody out there. Powerful, powerful insights today. And Kathy and I were just sharing this conversation on the ride up here, so we wanted to share that with all of you guys because as I was sharing my insights from leadership number one with the Next Level guys, what I said from the stage was, the greatest gift you can ever give somebody is the gift of life. So how do we give the gift of life? Allow other people to rise up. Not by tearing them down, but by giving them the wisdom and the insights on how to rise above. Because many of us have these thoughts, these conditioning of years and years and years of when we were growing up, of who we were supposed to be, of not being enough, you're dumb, you're ugly, you're stupid. Standards of other people. So we just had a super powerful in, insights here as we were on this drive up. So I wanted to share these insights with you. So I'm gonna ask Kathy to join us here on this conversation. And it was amazing how what started out as a team call turned into somebody in this call tonight is what the voice is telling me is gonna have a breakthrough. And like happened this weekend when we had the eight groups of breakout sessions and the men that were in that group had breakthroughs. It shows you that when you share your truth, when you share your purpose, when you come from a place of power, you will always allow people to space to break through. And there's Gene always showing up. Good to see you, Gene. Happy Tuesday. I believe it's 287 of 366. And we're almost to my brother's house here, so we're going to go ahead and... Let Kathy okay, talk about right back, okay? what she learned from today. So I put this thing on silent so nobody interrupts us here. So today we were on an inner circle call with a couple of the brothers in the brotherhood. And what was coming through was how do we lift people up by not tearing them down? So what happens is most of the time we tear people down so we can rise. And on the conversation up here, I was saying, what if we built them up? so we can all rise. So here's my beautiful wife, Kathy. What were you hearing from that, Kathy? Hi, so one of the things, oh, up, so no double chin, thanks. <laughs> um, so I was saying to Joe that I had a serious issue with public speaking. It was the biggest fear of my life and my job required it. And I would get away with it at some point and speak to my manager and then he said to me, listen, you're gonna have to face this fear. So what I would do was I would do small, like one minute in front of like 10 people and then I would do five minutes and then I started to get up to do more and more, but I was terrified. And one of the things that I struggled with was that people would say to me, you know, oh, by the way, your face is really red. Did you see how nervous you were? Your neck is really red. And unfortunately, those comments would take over instead of the positive things people said, I would focus on the negatives. And I realized that was something that I needed to work on too. But it just got Joe and I to start thinking about the fact that why do, why do people feel that they need to tell you the things that went wrong? And I said to Joe, and what I noticed was the people that would tell me the negatives were the people that would also say, oh, I wouldn't get up there in a million years. I would never talk in front of this group of people. And then I thought, well, then why not be supportive? If you think you'd never do it and you know it's difficult, then just tell me, wow, you know, this is, you know, you did a great job. Or <clears throat> even if I didn't do a great job, then just don't say anything. But it just was difficult because I felt like it was more critics and I would hold on to those negative um, remarks, negative facial gestures, and unfortunately I had to grow from that. So to Joe's point, why are we knocking people down instead of lifting them up? So I think we should all get on board and just try to be positive instead of negative. So, so what I'm hearing from Kathy explaining that is that well, our, our weaknesses and our triggers in life are a direct reflection of where we need to improve. So when we don't want to improve in those areas, what do we do? We knock other people down, which lifts us up. And I was like, wow, that's a powerful insight. I know somebody watching tonight. Good to see you, Gary. Dave LeFevre's on the call, Kathy. Remember we went to his, his mom's house? Oh, over yeah. There? We still have those eggs, Dave, from your 
called? Those little stone rocks, brown things that came in that crate. She, your, your mom, your mom wasn't negotiating with us. She, she didn't want to get rid of those things for less than what she paid for them. We're like, yeah, yeah, we're not paying that much money, man. So, oh, I think she got those in Italy. She got them in Italy, I believe, David. Right? So, comment where your mom got those little round rocks. They look like little Easter eggs, but they're made out of rock and completely painted there. But that was a powerful insight. So I know that um, somebody's going to break through from, from this breakthrough right here today because I know I was breaking through realizing this is that most people when they're knocking people down, it's their weak spot. But they're not going to do the work to get up there and speak from the pulpit like Kathy did yesterday, my mom's services. And when she went up there, she just owned the pulpit. That Even the, the, the priest and father said, like, have you done this one, three, five times before? And what, what I was learning from that was that as the, you start doing things that better the people around you, they level up. They're able to take things to a whole different level based upon unknowingly doing the work every single day as we've been speaking about here for 207 days is that when you do the work every day it becomes second nature that's your new habit so you break the pattern of not being enough not having enough not enough time not enough money not enough looks not enough weight loss and all these things that we tell ourselves over and over and over again is what's really holding us back and I was like that's a deep insight and we got to share that today because I guarantee you somebody that watches this later on today I know it's going to be you I know it's going to be you breaking through and saying, you know what, Joe, I understand exactly what you're saying. Kathy, I know exactly what you're saying. And I'm going to know it. I'm going to let go of those limiting thoughts. I'm going to do the work every single day, getting a little bit better than I was yesterday. And then at the end of that journey, I will have stepped into my power and not have to force to speak from a pulpit, speak from a stage, speak in front of people. Because when you tell yourself, I can never do that, guess what? You will never do that. So my challenging you for this evening here, this Tuesday evening, challenge yourself. Do something that you normally would never do, and I promise you it will get easier. Kath, final thoughts? No, <clears throat> I think you're what, everything you're saying is spot on, that we just um, really need to focus on our thoughts. And for me especially, is to not let the words of others overtake me and make those my truth because however they feel is how they feel and I have to be able to say that regardless of how they feel I'm confident enough to know that I did a good job or perhaps I'm just a work in progress but I'm not gonna allow them to change the person that I am or push me back or suggest that I don't do something and discourage me I have to push past all that and encourage myself Solid. That is some solid, solid insights from my beautiful queen here this evening. We're going to go see Mike. Mike, we're on our way over. Thank you, everybody, for all the love. Thank you for following this journey. Thank you for continuing to get better than you were yesterday. That's as simple. Don't complicate it. Just get better than you were yesterday. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Don't worry about guilt, shame, and all those things from the past, those patterns of the past. It's time to break those records of the past. Visualize you taking those 45 records, those 33 records, Gary, slamming them on the ground, saying, so you know what? That is not me. That's the old me. I am stepping into a different version of myself today. So when it's all said and done together, we'll rise as one. Have a great evening. I love you guys. Keep showing up. They have not seen nothing yet. Bye.